Okay, uh, we're we're very excited to start spring today. I've uh, been looking forward to this for a while. Um, our, our goals, like always, we've uh, got three of them going into spring practice. Um, number one is to understand, understand and execution of our base offense, defense, and special teams. Obviously, we have the same offense, we have the same special teams, but uh, we do have a new defense we're installing. Uh, so at the end of spring, to have a good understanding and execution of, of all three phases. The second one is to get our edge back, and that's that physical and mental, that toughness, that hard-nosed edge that uh, we kind of lost towards the end of last year. And we're going to be very physical in spring, and, uh, and we're going to get that back. And really the third goal is really develop trust, and trust between coaches and players. We have some new coaches on our staff. Um, you know, our theme is really count on me, and it's going to be um, you know, that each player you know, can count on each other, count on uh, from a coach's standpoint and everything that goes with that. Uh, a couple updates. Um, Anthony Swain uh, has decided to graduate, uh, which he'll graduate here this spring. He's no longer going to be with us. We really appreciate um, you know everything he did during his time to help us here at Auburn. Jimmy Hutchison, our punter, has decided to explore other opportunities. We appreciate uh, you know his time here at, at Auburn also. Also got a couple new hires that I wanted to update everybody on. Uh, Kenneth Carter, a former player, uh, has been hired on an operations role, off the field role. And uh, our new analyst is Jeff Norwood. Uh, he is a guy that when I was at Arkansas in 2006 was uh, our offensive GA. I've got a lot of familiarity uh, with him. Take questions? Is Jimmy planning to transfer? Is he staying in campus? I'm not sure at this time. What's that? Uh, you know, uh, Daniel will will, will uh, obviously do the majority of that, and then we have a couple walk-ons that uh, you know will also have a chance to show what they can do. So you talked about getting your edge back physically, and what happened last year. When you go back and, and look at what happened last year, how much of it was just the schedule? It just caught up with you and that grind of games that you had it was so difficult. Well, like I said before, I mean, I, I really do feel like we, you know, we had the toughest schedule in college football. And, uh, you know, you had to bring your A game every week. But at the same time, we knew that going in. We knew it was going to be a challenge. And, uh, you know, you, you've got to you got to overcome things like that. And we, we didn't do that. And, uh, you know, we definitely lost our edge that, uh, you know, especially toward the end of the year. How do you go about Splitting snaps between the quarterbacks. <clears throat> well, you know, of course, Jeremy Johnson will be our first quarterback to take snaps. Uh, Sean White, Tyler Queen, Jason Smith will all get reps. Uh, Coach Lashley has a plan, uh, especially the first few days of spring. You want to make sure when you're installing uh, the base offense that you give each one of these guys enough reps to feel comfortable. And then as spring goes on, then you start identifying the guys that are a little ahead of the others, and you start giving them enjoy the snaps. But you know, our plan today is all four guys will get snaps. Uh, it could be fairly equal, at least the first few days when we're installing our base offense. Yes, even though he hasn't been a starter, how, how valuable is it for Jeremy to have been in the program for as long as he has? Well, I, th I think it's very valuable, the fact he's been in our program, uh, you know, for two years. Uh, he ran a very similar offense in high school, and so he understands everything that goes with it. He got a lot of practice reps the last two um, seasons and uh, obviously started against Arkansas and just did an outstanding job with that. Got to play some throughout the last two years. But we have a lot of confidence in Jeremy. Um, you know, he's going to have to go out there and, and win the starting job, uh, but he's in a very good spot. We have a lot of confidence in him. Yes, Jason Smith going to be double learning. He's going to be staying on quarterback. Yeah, Jason Smith's going to start out playing quarterback, and uh, we're going to give him a an opportunity to try to win that job, and uh, that's what we recruited him to do, and uh, he seems very excited about it. Is there a timetable though for if he is not able to? There, there's no timetable. Uh, we're going to give him a fair shot, and we'll see how that goes. Will Braden Smith start out at guard or for red tackle? Yeah, Braden Smith's going to start out at guard. Uh, he's going to start out at guard. Avery Young's going to start out at tackle, um, and then you know we'll kind of go from there. You know, as far as Alex Cozan is concerned, uh, he is going to be limited. There will be some things he can do. Uh, he's not totally cleared. Um, 
you know, to go full speed at this time, but he will do some things. Jordan Diamond uh, will also get some reps, and he'll be a, in a limited role uh, also. Who will be the first center? Uh, first center is going to be Austin Golson and Xavier Dampier. Both those guys will get opportunities, uh, along with Deion Mix. Uh, you know, those are the three guys that are competing for that job. What did, what did Golson do to really all of a sudden move him from a tackle spot to the center when Dampier had been there for a couple of years? Yeah, well, you know, we, we saw uh, in our bowl prep uh, that he was athletic enough to do that. And, uh, you know, so we gave him a few reps there. Uh, he looked uh, pretty good. And so, you know, from a center standpoint, it's very important to what we do, like I've said before. It's almost like another quarterback, you know, as far as everything we ask him to do with our no huddle scheme and the pace that we play, the ID and all that. So uh, we're going to give him an opportunity, uh, but that doesn't mean that uh, we're not confident in Dan Peter. I mean, uh, he's a guy that's got a lot of snaps. It just means that uh, those three guys will get opportunities, uh, kind of like the quarterbacks. I mean, we want to make sure those guys get equal opportunities as we're installing the base offense, and uh, then we'll see how it sorts <coughs> out, you know, after that. Gus, is there, is there a number one running back, or will it just be Gus? Yeah, we're going to do like we did the very first year we were here. You know, we got Rock, we got Peyton Barber, we got Javon. Those guys will be rotated. We'll try to put those guys in equal situations, you know, equal situations with the first line, with the second line. Um, and we'll rotate those guys. All three of those guys we feel like have a chance to, to really be good in our system. Um, you know, we're going to give them an opportunity to show what they can do. You know, we're going to go a lot of um, – Live when we can go live when it's legal, we're going to go live, and those guys will get tackled. So we're going to have a, a really good um, evaluation by the end of spring on all three of the guys. Gus, do you expect Saint and True to be able to do anything this spring? Uh, he, he will be limited in, in a certain role, he's similar to Kozan and Diamond. Uh, he's not completely cleared, um, but um, but he, he's a guy that we're going to you know get some work out of. How, how positive is it that you get? Um, Kozan back out there doing, doing some things. You no, it's very positive. Step. You know, Kozan, you know, two years ago was one of our leaders. Uh, there's no doubt and his absence last year was, was definitely felt, um, not just from a playing, but a leadership. He's a, he's a great worker. Uh, our, our, his teammates have a lot of respect for him. So just by him being out there is going to be a breath of fresh air. How much do you go into this spring having a pretty firm grasp on what you want to do on offense and kind of install this spring? It's obviously, it's going to be a little bit different from what yeah. you've had in the past the zone. Yeah, well, I'll say this. You know, last year we had a lot of guys coming back. We had a lot of good information about what we had. You know, there's a lot of uh, areas that are wide open. Um, so we're going to be very basic starting out. Uh, obviously, you know, we're putting in, installing a new defense too. So this is going to be really back to the basics as far as the way we install. Uh, and then we'll see how the progression, once you get to the midpoint of spring ball, you kind of uh, reevaluate how fast you want to go with the extra things. But, you know, you want to give each, get each one of these guys an equal opportunity to compete for a position. And as basic as you can be, it allows coaches a lot easier opportunity to evaluate, uh, a true evaluation for guys. We lost seniors both H back and tight end, or Chris. Yeah, well, you got you got to Cameron Petway and Chandler Cox. You got Chris Lay and Greg Hall. You know, as far as those positions are going to start out today, and we're going to give those guys equal opportunities. Um, you know, to show what they can do. Gage leave the program. Gage Batten is no longer with us. Uh, matter of fact, he hasn't been with us since the bowl. Um, decided to do some things closer to home. Just from a cleansing, just from a cleansing standpoint, from the way last season finished. How much, as a coach, do you look forward to just getting into the spring? And, and, and is those, are those two months tough for you, just as a you know, just as a pure football guy? Well, yeah, there's no doubt. I mean, of course, obviously, you got recruiting in the middle of it, and then once the recruiting's over, then you can truly transition into the spring. And you know, this is really the first true day of the next year, so that's the exciting part, you know, from a coach's standpoint. That you know, hey, last year that's behind. Now it's time to move forward. Um, our coaches are extremely excited to get out there. Um, you know, I think our players are excited too. Uh, like I said, got a lot of uh, young guys out there, um, you know, that are ready and they're hungry, and uh, we're ready to see what they can do. And just aside from just the pure football standpoint of what Will Muschamp brings, just from just from a rejuvenation energy standpoint, do you guys feel 
felt a little jolt since he's come in? Oh, there's no doubt about that. You know, he's a great, uh, he's a, first of all, he's a true professional. Um, you know, he's one of the best in the business. So a guy like that gives a lot of people around him confidence, not only his defensive coaches, but you can even tell the defensive players. So, uh, you know, we're looking forward to today. And we're looking forward to uh, the spring and really seeing the improvement that we make from today until the last day of spring. Is Duke coming, is Duke coming into spring facing any additional punishment? No, he? no, he's in good standing, just like everybody else, you know, up to this point. Obviously, it's you, Chef, Duke Williams back, but just, do you feel like there's a sense of responsibility for him to be a leader on the offense coming up this spring? Well, you know, I, I would say we ask a lot of our seniors each year, and he's definitely a senior. He's been with us one year and, and knows expectations. And uh, so we're going to ask him, along with the rest of our seniors, really to lead and guide this team, you know, uh, like we expect. Gus, during, during the bowl practices, Rhett said that, Cameron Petway moving to H back was a, an experiment. So now is that a full time move, or yeah, are you still just it's working? It's a full time move, and uh, at least at this point, I mean, he has running back skills, and he could all also do some running back. But uh, we're going to give him a chance to win that job, and uh, he did catch our eye in bowl practice. Uh, it's something that he uh, is excited about, and uh, you know, really feel like that uh, he gives us a lot of versatility. You know, at that position, he catches the ball well. He's got running back skills. And, he is very big and, and very physical. Yeah. Go ahead. Josh Holsey played corner and safety last year. You know which one he's going to play mostly this spring. And is there any other guys in the secondary that are playing yeah, differently yeah, than they did uh, last year? Yeah, Coach Mustang's going to start him out at corner, uh, but he does have the ability to uh, to play safety, and uh, I think he'll move some people around too. That, that you know, you could uh, you could probably see Jonathan Ford to play some corner too and safety. He just wants to make sure that, uh, you know, not only give guys opportunities, but to get, develop depth. And that's going to be a big factor, you know, coming into ball. And Mark Stout, who played this past year for the transfer, where does Trey Matthews fall at this point on the depth chart? Yeah, is. Trey's going to be at safety, and uh, he's going to be competing for one of those positions. Because how much can the, uh, the early enrollees benefit from being here for spring practice? Oh, it's, it's greatly. I mean, it gives, gives those guys a chance, and really more importantly, it gives our coaches a chance to see them and uh, what they can and can't do, what they need to improve on, and uh, gives them a big advantage, you know, than going through 15 days of spring practice than showing up, you know, at the end of May. Nick such a dynamic runner, how might the offense look a little different under Jeremy to take advantage of his strength? Well, we're gonna, we'll build around our starting quarterback, and like I said earlier, I mean, Jeremy's the uh, – you know, the guy that's going to take the first snap, he's got the most experience. And Jeremy's a good runner within his own right. Right Now, he's not exactly like Nick, but uh, he's a very good runner. Uh, he throws the ball extremely well. Um, but, you know, all of our quarterbacks are going to have a run element. All, all these guys we put out there, we feel like uh, will be able to be efficient in the run game. I mean, compared to Nick, that's hard to – that's really hard to compare. I mean, Nick's one of the better runners. Uh, from a quarterback standpoint, probably this league is seen. So, uh, but but all of them can run. The last two, two years, <coughs> excuse me, you've been very vocal with the rules changes. Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea of how maybe you can be more involved in that standpoint? Do you have any ideas of how maybe to allow other coaches on the outside to maybe hear their kind of voices heard a little bit more? Yeah, better? well, I, you know, I think that's the big thing is just the process of everything. Um, you know, getting, getting, uh, you know, more people involved in, in that process that leads up to it. Um, I'm, I'm very pleased that, uh, you know, that rule proposal was, was uh, put back and tabled until, you know, further discussion. Uh, I think that would have been a, a real drastic uh, change, but I'm, I'm glad that we're just going to make that a, a point of emphasis. Because, because the last two years you made it a point over and over again to say that Nick didn't go through the spring that first go around to have Jeremy at this point going through multiple times. Yeah. What is the value difference you see in him doing it for his third and not well second? Third yeah, time? yeah I, I think the experience factor of just the overall, um, you know, offense, first of all. Then you throw in to the, the fact that the position coach and the coordinator is back. The offense is the same. Um, you know, I, I think that's got to help. He's got a very good understanding. I would say he's thinking like coaches. Um, uh, it's got to help. There's no doubt. Yeah, that's what are your expectations for a guy like Sean Coleman now with a year under his belt, having a chance now to kind of look at what he did last year? Yeah, before. well, you know, Sean did some very good things last year. 
but it was his first real football in four years. And so um, we truly believe that, you know, after he's got that year under his belt, the experience that goes with that, he's a very smart uh, individual. He's very strong. He's very talented. We really feel like now he'll be able to just loosen up and play. Um, you know, we, we really believe he's got a chance to, to be a really good left tackle in this league. What do you expect to see from Richard Franklin like on the defensive end? From who? Dontavious. Russell Dontavious. Oh, Dante. I said John Tavis. Yeah, Dontavious. Uh, you know, he's a uh, he's an extremely talented guy. He's a guy that you know there was there was talk about not red shirting early and even kind of into some games because we felt like that um, you know he's a very athletic guy, very talented guy. Uh, we think he's got a chance to, um, you know, with a good spring, got a chance to be a very good player for us, you know, next year. How about the more as a whole? How big is the spring for them guys? The captain guys like yeah, it, it's very, it's very important um, for those guys. The fact that you know they've been on the scout team now, this is their time. This is their time to go ahead and, and compete for a job, and. Um, so all those red shirt freshmen, you know, you've seen, I've seen urgency even in you know, our mat drills and stuff like that, seen the difference in those guys. And obviously a day like this when they actually feel like they're competing for a position, you know, it usually brings out the best in people. Got one more coach up yeah. in the front row. Gus, do you enter the spring feeling like Ricardo Lewis is your number two receiver or is that something you hope exiting the spring you'll be able, be able to identify? Well, you know, he's a guy that uh, has a lot of experience. And, uh, you know, all the seniors that have experience, we, we really asked them to raise their level. He's one of those guys. Uh, he's made a lot of plays for us in the past. Uh, we expect big things out of Ricardo. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.